Hello and welcome to this writing video. So I have made two writing vlogs on my channel before and they were about me trying to finish the work in progress that I was working on. I have since finished that book, although finish is maybe a bit of a light term because uh, the book definitely needs a bit of a rewrite and I say a bit, <laughs> maybe a bit of a big rewrite. I think that there is something there but now that I've let the book sit for a few months and I've gone back to it, I've realised that there are quite a few things I would like to change in order to, for me to be happy about it, which is a bit disappointing, but I think it's important to be honest with yourself when you're um, a writer. I feel the want to like convince myself that what I've written is good enough, but I also know deep down that for me to be happy about something that I put out in the world, I really need to like be happy in my heart. And with the novel, unfortunately, I'm not yet. So it needs a bit of a rewrite. I will continue working on it. But what I thought I would do today is go through like everything that I've written. I say everything. There is so much that I've written over the past, I don't know, past 15 years that I've been writing. I've probably been writing things since I was about 12 years old. And I think it would just take too long to go through all of it. <laughs> so I thought I would go through like everything I've written that I've like finished <laughs> and that I've written in like my adult life as well. I don't think I will include the things that I wrote as a teenager because I was very much practicing as a writer back then and I don't think <laughs> it's worth going through them because yeah, I, I'm not sure <laughs> that they should ever see the light of day. But I think it's quite nice to go through the things you've written as a writer to kind of see um, where you started and how you ended up where you are now um, because even though a lot of the things I've written have never been put out in the world, haven't been published. They have been really good practice at making me a better writer and have also been really enjoyable to write. I think most of the stuff I write, even though there are points where it's been hard and where I'm like, oh, I'm not a good writer or like, am I just wasting my time? Really, actually most of the time I really enjoy writing and I try not to put so much pressure on myself to like get published because the joy is in, you know, working on the project. And I think as long as you just have fun as a writer, then it makes it a less stressful experience it makes it less likely that you will have you know those feelings of like is this a waste of time <laughs> so i'm going to start off with the novels that i've written so i think the first novel that i like finished in adulthood that i thought could be something was a fantasy novel called may watson and the strange creatures and this novel was about um a world like our world where there are magical creatures and magical creatures exist but they are like illegal <laughs> um, and it was really I think inspired by my obsession with Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman at the time. I really enjoyed how Neverwhere looked at a real world setting but also had like these fantasy creatures infused within it and I wanted to do something similar and I think it's not that bad. <laughs> I wrote it maybe when I was 19 and I think there is like some good ideas running through it and if I looked back on it I could maybe rework it into something but I think it's been what eight years and I haven't done that I think maybe it is like a nice book that I wrote back when I was 19 but it maybe won't ever become more than that and then I wrote a few other things as the years passed but nothing that I like properly finished and properly thought I could get published um the next thing that I probably thought that had some um <laughs> possibility of getting published was probably Hugo Bell and it was about a man named Hugo Bell who ran a bookstore and in this bookstore there were bookworms like actual bookworms that lived <laughs> in the bookstore and they like um made sure that the characters stayed within the books because sometimes the the characters in the book got released and it didn't, this one didn't take itself too seriously it was quite fun there was like songs in it <laughs> um uh but um yeah, nothing really came of that one. I guess these books were a result of me finishing university and just writing things that I thought were fun. Um, then 2020 happened <laughs> and I didn't write really so much during 2020, which is a shame because I had free time and I could have written more, but um, I became, became quite sad really because of the state of the world um, and I didn't write for a bit. But then, um, in 2021, I started working on another middle grade <laughs> um, and it was about 
this piano that had a creature living inside of it and it was really looking at grief and how music can help someone deal with the pain of grief. And I think there were some good ideas there but again there wasn't enough content, I think it was more of a short story rather than a full novel. Then the next book that I tried to write was a couple of years ago and it was all about time travel. <laughs> I've always been interested in time travel um, and I love history, I find it so interesting how the world has changed and how different countries have changed over the years, um, the different conflicts and the different people that have existed and I thought it would be really cool to write a time travel middle grade um, series that was also looking at like history so it was entertaining but also educational. I love the plot twists that you can add within a time travel story because of course characters can exist in more than one time but I think there are also a lot of difficulties with writing time travel books because <laughs> um, there are a lot of plot holes that can exist and also like if you have a character that's going into the past how, how does that character then not affect the like events of the future like it just becomes like that there's then so many like different um pathways and universes and alternative realities that i was like hmm i mean i suppose i didn't need to take it so seriously and didn't need to make it so complicated but yeah <laughs> then we have now a book that i've been working on this year and this is a literary fiction book i suppose this is my first literary, f literary fiction novel that i've finished because really i have just been writing like fantasy up until this year and that's because i think there's so many like possibilities in fantasy and i love fantasy books but I also really enjoy literary fiction and I think that maybe literary fiction is where I fit better as a writer. I mean as a writer I don't think you have to put yourself in a box, I think you can write fantasy and literary fiction. But I think if I were to say what my favourite books are to read it would be fantasy but it would also be books that look at the world that we live in and how we exist within this world, how humans just act in the everyday day-to-day -day lives and that's something that I really enjoy writing about too. So my literary fiction book is much more different to anything that I've written before it and yeah that's kind of where I am with the novels. <laughs> so then we have plays and theatre is something that I really enjoy and I think that playwriting um, and having my plays put on and actors perform them is something I, that I would love to happen. In university I had a few like development readings from a play that I was working on and it was so much fun working collaboratively on a creative project to have these actors and a director and to discuss with them the story and the diff different ideas that they had about where the story could go and I realised that writing could actually be very sociable because writing had always felt quite <laughs> solitary to me but actually when you're when you're a playwright it's a much more sociable activity because you can work with actors and directors and that's what I really loved about playwriting and it's something that I have worked on um, as the years have passed. I was part of the Travis Theatre Young Writers Group in 2020. This was supposed to be like in Edinburgh um, at the theatre but it was online because of Covid but it was a really great experience um, and I had a short play that I wrote, a monologue that I wrote, um, read by an actress and it was put on the YouTube channel and I can link it below and it was something that I was very proud of because I worked with the director and the actor on the monologue that I wrote and it felt like for the first time I'd, I was actually like a professional writer um, and that was really cool. <laughs> but really since then I've been living in Warsaw and I've been living in Berlin and there haven't been many opportunities. I mean there have been opportunities I suppose to um, get my plays put on but of course in those countries and those cities English is not the first language so I suppose being in London now there are more opportunities to be a playwright and succeed in that field and there are a lot of plays that I've written in the past there are too many to go through but there is one that I've been working on for a while now and it's called The Lovely Girls of Lakewell and it's about this girl who wakes up at this house called Lakewell and there are other girls that live there and there are it's sort of a mystery as to why she is there and why the other girls are there and what is going on in the household world and I am enjoying writing this because I like writing a play with a mystery hidden underneath so you can like drop little breadcrumbs about what like the truth is <laughs> and I think it's also quite engaging as an audience member because you are trying to like work out what the secret is and also another thing I like about plays is because you kind of want as few characters as possible to make it more economical <laughs> for the theatre put on to put on. Um, it means that you can really focus on like two or three or four characters 
really um, specifically and make them like really shine as characters. I mean, you can do that in a novel too, but in a novel you can really have as many characters as you, as you want. In a play, you know, it's better to have as few as possible. Then we have some short stories. Short stories are something that I've really got into this year. And of course, I've written quite a few in the past, but I think this year there are three that I've written that I think could get published. They haven't yet, <laughs> but I feel like they are publishable. Um, and one is called God I'm Lonely, another is called Hopping Mad, and another is called Where Has the Music Gone? And they're all kind of literary fiction stories about the real world, about real characters. And yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, cool things you can do with short stories. And it's something that I hope to work on more in the future. Then we have some poetry. I've written quite a lot of poetry. Um, back in February this year, I wrote a poem every day um, and that on my YouTube channel is short and that was a really fun experience because it really challenged me creatively and I think since then my poetry has been better. I think it really improved my poetry, forcing myself to do a poem every day. And I think poetry is maybe the most therapeutic medium of writing for me because whenever I've had something bad happen I usually try to write a poem on it and I find that it makes me feel better <laughs> like if I have someone who I feel like mistreated me in some way if I then write a poem about it um in like a clever way <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm like getting a little bit of revenge on that person <laughs> and yeah those are some things that I've written I haven't had that much published I've had some poetry published and that's it. <laughs> and of course, I would love to be published in the future or have a play put on. Um, and I hope those things will happen. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting older, you know, and I'm running out of time, but I don't think that's true. I think that even if I never get published or never get a play put on, writing has still had such an impact on my life and who I am as a person. And maybe if you asked me at 21, I would say that I, like, I need to get published in order to feel like worthwhile as a writer but I think I feel differently at 27 because I feel like I I feel like I don't really need so much validation from other people I'm still a person and I love validation and someone telling me that something I made was good but I don't think I need it as much I feel much more like confident in myself and who I am I think as long as I like what I've written that is the most important thing for me Whereas I would have said differently at 21. I would have said, like, I don't care if I hate what I've written. If it gets published, <laughs> then that's the most important thing. But now, yeah, I like what I've written. And um, we'll see what happens in the future. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope to make more writing videos in the future. And I should go now. Because <laughs> I've got to work. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>